So, all friends, welcome to my channel. I'm going to talk about the next explain you that is the 11th standard biology fifth chapter anatomy of flowering plants. So, apical meristem. So, the uh, well, let us know about the meristem. So, apical meristem it is present at the root apex and shoot apex at the top, and intercellular gallery meristem it is present between the masses of the mature tissue present at the ba basis of the leaves of the grass. And lateral meristem, so it appears in the major tissue of roots and shoot. Next, let us know corkemium forms tissues that form the cork. So, when secondary growth occurs in the dicot stem and root, the epidermal layer get broken. There is need to replace the outer epidermal cell for providing protection to the stem and root into from infection so therefore a cork embryum develops from for the for that a cork embryum develops so here the diagram you are seeing here you can see in this diagram there you have epidermal in both cortex you have phylum primary phloem vascular cambium phylogen secondary xylem, secondary phloem and cambium ring so let us know about the, uh, the drawing of the and then let us know about monocot and dicot root monocot and dicot shoot so this is monocot and dicot root so monocot root has metaxylem, protoxylem, phloem, root hairs or uh, trichomes we can say and epidermis, cortex and uh, endodermis, pericycle and Dicot root it has the uh, it has the root hair, epidermis, cortex, endodermis, pericycle, phloem with metazelum, protazelum. Next, monocot stem and dicot stem. So like this, so it has epidermis colonchyma, parenchyma, endodermis, pericycle, phloem, cambium, metaxylem, metaxylem, protoxylem and pith and here the dicot trans, uh, transverse section of dicot uh, stem here you see next monocot it is it has epidermis, hypodermis, vascular bundle, brown tissue, xylem, phloem next let us know about the transverse section of young stem of a plant from your school garden so dicot stem is characterized by the presence of conjoints collateral and open vascular bundles so like this as you know now only you have learnt about these drawings next so what are xylem and phloem called uh, why it is called is xylem helps in conducting of uh, water xylem parenchyma and xylem fiber and phloem helps in the food material like uh, and uh, it is uh, it helps through few tube elements companion cells phloem parenchyma phloem fiber next what is stomatal apparatus and let us know about the structure of stomatal so the stomatal apparatus has epidermal cell subsidiary cell chloroplast stomatal apparatus and guard cell so, tissue and tissue spread system and tissues present in the teeth. Uh, epidermal tissue, epidermis, crown tissue, parenchyma, colon chyma, skin and chyma, and vascular tissue system with xylem and phloem. Next, how is the study of plant anatomy useful to us? So, the study of plant anatomy helps us to understand the structural adaptations of plants with respect to diverse environment condition how it is structured to protect itself and what is periderm periderm is composed of phylogen phylum and phyloderm now i saw here in that diagram i showed you what is phylogen phyloderm next epiderm is meiosophyll and vascular system so epiderm is, is the present on both the upper surface and the lower surface mesophyll is the tissue of the leaf that is present between the adaxial and ad abaxial epidermis and vascular system the vascular bundle present in the leaves are conjoint and closed 
So, okay, friends, this was your chapter now. And all the way of flowering plants. So, like the video, comment on my video, and subscribe my channel. And you can see the for more video. I will see my next video explaining another chapter. Till then, take care and stay by my dear friends.